Hi my friends, today we create this assembly, you see now the worm gears, now they are hidden and uh, they make this uh, parallel displacement in the space of the two plates, one is grounded and one is moving. This is the assembly parallel movement mechanism with two active biaxial coupling this one and the other one and one passive these two make the movements components sub-assembly 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 this is a copy of this one because they have to move independently and this is the passive the fixed or grounded plate is this one and this is the mobile plate they are uh, connected with the uh, screws the active biaxial coupling is here with its components the passive is this one with its components sub assemblies this is the biaxial coupling active you see here how it looks and if I apply Alt T which means transparent you see inside you can activate and rotate this and you see how the gear worms work the other one doesn't have any active uh, source but it can be moved uh, freely let's start new standard millimeters IAM place triangular fixed plate place grounded at origin and now we rotate it to be as we want to be uh, so is what we want this is what we want and we make this fixed when you use the home from here or from keyboard then we place the the biaxial coupling passive because it is placed here to the left it is uh, connected to the triangular fixed plate with two other objects which are guide passive and spacer we constrain this face of the spacer to come here apply and one face to be here apply these two sides must be aligned with flush 
apply same for the other one this uh, face on this face not flush but made apply then this face to be here apply and flush for this to apply you see there is a small uh, cylinder here made which is a part of this uh, object and we apply insert to place this right here apply then we make zero degrees between these two apply now we cannot move anything here why because this uh, sub assembly has uh, mobilities and they are not uh, mobile to make them mobile we apply flexibility flexible for this biaxial coupling now we can move yes better you see here two movements good now we add the other biaxial coupling but the active one it goes right here to the right you see this already has placed here the guide so we apply constraint like before between this point this circle with axis to be here apply then an angle of zero degrees between these two apply the other biaxial coupling is uh, a copy of the last we apply insert again between these two apply and angle of zero between this face and this face apply we add now the the triangular plate mobile triangular mobile plate you see we have to place all these three on the respectively other three constrain this goes to this one which is flexible remember apply you can uh, rotate this you can make anything but not with this too what to do in order to apply movement oh this is not an angle a good angle this is not 
0 degrees but 90 degrees why because we want to obtain reverted oh and this must be to the right this must be to uh, uh, the inside you see the original we can move them we use a parametric software this is not 90 but minus 90 or 270 now we have another orientation the other one is this one which must have 180 angle 180 now this is to the right this is here I come back now I cannot move this we apply flexible for both for this one you see in uh, recent uh, versions of inventor we have these points here this is not recent uh, version is 2014 and if you want to see here that points take a look you use tools document settings and modeling show constraint state in browser this is the browser and we don't have constraint state click here and apply take a look here now we have that uh, marks what means the this is uh, fix you see grounded here and the other are not fixed they are movable these are uh, screws isn't it metric 6 25 these screws and they can be rotated you see I can rotate it this means that we don't have uh, to apply any other constraint here we go back to our assembly and we make flexible this one and also this one flexible now we can combine constraints this comes here apply and the other one right here okay now if I rotate this axis you see we obtain movements and also here better so you see very good let's add some uh, uh, screws I place two long one two and four short one two three four 
constraint insert this comes here apply the other one here this is here apply oh this was not good insert with the alignment because I selected wrong I made a wrong selection constrain this what is here my friends I cut this I delete this this is free and I apply insert for this you see if you select here you have the the arrow down if you move this a little you have the other direction now is okay and this is okay we must be careful with many aspects as usual in our life we have options okay you add the other screws and obtain this marvelous assembly now comes an interesting topic what i present here is based on the existence of the components that appear in the assembly Regarding this modeling, you have two options. One, to contemplate what I do and apply my actions by creating your own components of this assembly. And two, try to create the assembly using the actual components you see in the tutorial. If you want to create this assembly independently, you must own the component. That is, uh, they must be yours. A separate creations that I made for the purpose of showing practical aspects in the tutorial you can download the components only from assets access to assets is done by subscribing minimum to the level journeyman membership you see here the levels of membership core journeyman patron professional excepting core the other ones includes the previous ones that's all for today my friends thanks for watching bye bye